And uh, Needle, you can't clean while it's playing. You can't clean them while they're playing. Oh, no, gosh. But that gives you the warm and fuzzy feeling that only vinyl has. Only vinyl has this. That's right. So, God bless the fingerprint you can't clean off. And a little tribute to Robert Palmer. Rest his soul. Backed by the meters. It's been fun. This has been Nat Woodard playing you uh, little pieces from the box. And uh, I'm about done. This is Shapiro about to take over Radio Free Shapsio here at the Bunny for a little from the archives. I have to take the heat for that one. I thought Robert Palmer, backed by the Beatles, would invoke thoughts of sneaking Sally through the alley and other crazy late night adventures in the bayou. So we're going to go forward from the archives. This is the Bunny 92.1. Welcome to day two of Coventry, the first day of the rest of your life.
All right. Welcome to From the Archives. I would lie to y'all and tell you that that was exactly what I had planned. But I won't bother because that's not what we're about here at From the Archives. What we're about really is, is keeping the spirit alive, keeping the love alive for all y'all out there. This is Kevin from the Archives. This is the sixth time. That was what we officially call in the radio industry a false start. But it's all right. Because really, really it was all about this next track. And really even more than that, it was all about DJ Nat. How about that? Kicking out the funk on 92.1 WMOO, Derby Center, W257AU. Uh, Sorry, the sevens look like Zs. I think maybe I have Zs on the mind. Hopefully you all got some Zs last night after that amazing set. Amazing show. Three sets. I mean, well, without even getting into the music, our man Trey climbed out on the rocks. And then Mike follows. And, well, you know, if you weren't there, we wish you had been. We're hoping you're having a good day here. It's a beautiful day backstage at Coventry. The day of the, uh, of the last fish concert ever. But that's okay. Our spirits are high. It's all about celebration. We're going to celebrate New Year's 95 with this next track. Hold on tight.
uh, the intended programming. This is Kevin. This is from the archives. The sixth consecutive festival that I've had the chance to do this, to share this time with you. And the time is quarter to one. So I started off with a little, uh, what was really a review from yesterday, the 12 99 Jam so great. I played it twice. And then we went forward with the intended programming of New Year's 95, set three opener, the week of our groove. It's a nice sunny day back here. I'm told there's very little in the way of safety announcements other than saying to stick with your, stick with your friends, getting a few reports of people wandering aimlessly. So if you stick together, that won't happen. Also a suggestion in that same vein to um, carry a map of the festival, because for those of us here at Coventry, we know it's big, it's real big. So I'm gonna go on forward, jump back, oh, about 15 years or so, with a track from Colorado. I hope you like it. Got it, bird, on a whistle. Baby, got a bird, honey, got a bird. Oh, honey. 
to send that one out to Carrie, my good close friend who came to visit me in the station today. Warm my heart. Thanks, man. All right. This is Shapsio coming to you live. Radio free Shapsio on the bunny. 92.1 FM. I hope you're having a great day. Great second day of Coventry. It's a beautiful day out. Not too hot, not too cold. Just enough clouds in the sky to keep things interesting. I'm going to slide on forward. That was Karina Karina from July 28th, 1988. The aforementioned Colorado shows Telluride. The band had just performed Game Henge for the first time. And it was really their first extended stay, touring stay, outside Vermont. So, I hope you liked it. Great time. I mean, there's, there's nobody in the room. As the one who was not there, I can attest, there's nobody in the room. That's the first night of uh, six or so. And uh, I think more people came each night. And you can hear why. I'm going to ride forward with a little, um, a little bonus, a little makeup. It's the thing I discovered, actually, the last few weeks when I was looking through things for the archives. Usually I tried to just keep the classics rolling with a couple extra nuggets here and there. And this is just one of those nuggets from a sound check in 1993. Check it out. What a day here at the Bunny. <laughs> what I meant is from a sound check in 1993. Check it out.
Thank you.
Shock the monkey, indeed. This is Kevin Shapsio coming to you from backstage. The Bunny, Coventry. Welcome. It's a great day for a fish show. What day is not a great day for a fish show, really? Nonetheless, unparalleled anticipation for tonight's gig. And a fine showing last night, so we're looking forward to uh, more of the same and then some. And what a setting as well. I mean... When it was raining, let me tell you, it was raining. Uh, the place looked good, but not good like it looked last night. You get the Ferris wheel in the background. You get the lighters before the encore. I'm trying to set the scene here because we're honored to be simulcast on XM Radio. For all you satellite listeners, welcome. I'm going to get ready to continue in the in the theme of the moment that was the sound check jam into shock the monkey basically um from august 17th 1993 and i played a track from that yesterday the fast enough for you it's an amazing show from an amazing era you got eight six cincinnati eight seven darien lake the roller coaster of the mind eight eight nautica stage got the 8-9 with the tweezer. Well, I won't say anything more about that. 8-11, Grand Rapids, and the 12th, the Meadowbrook. The 13th, which we celebrated the 11th anniversary of together on my first of three installments from the archives. On Friday, the 14th, of course, World Music Amphitheater. Check that out on the Live Fish series. And the 15th, at the Macaulay. And, uh, well, the list goes on. Anyway, I want to go forward with a demo. I played one other demo during this weekend. I try to keep a light on those, and yet, this one seemed appropriate. So I hope you're all having a good time out there. Take care of each other. Stick together at night. Keep a map. And, uh, don't do anything we wouldn't do. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Stacy and the crew. Also to G, little Anthony. Katrina, and uh, Bunny. Speaking of which, the Bunny is a registered trademark of Bunny. All right, here we go with a demo. Thanks to Trey and Tom. Thank 
seemed easier than it was. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Coming to you backstage at the Bunny. This is Kevin. Hanging with good friends and family. Kicking it up back here, getting ready for the last. The last and possibly the most um, one of the most amazing careers for sure and and rock and roll, at least music as I know it. Anyway, uh, it's been a big weekend, powerful weekend. Amazing, amazing summer tour leading up to this. For those of you who are lucky enough to catch it, it, uh, well, anyway, I featured some of that. I'll try to get to some of that as well. Got a lot of stuff planned for you. Definitely wanted to share the Sleeping Monkey. Thought that would be. I thought it'd be appropriate for the moment. You'll have to forgive a little scramble back here. Things always a work in progress at the Bunny. This is 92.1 FM, and we are powered by iTunes. I will note that the From the Archive shows for six years standing have been brought to you without iTunes. But we in the archives, we like the throwback stuff, you know? The good old days. And how about DJ Nat before me, man? I mean, jeez. Amazing funk out there. He's been putting it down. I'm going to be followed up today by um, Pascal. And then, um, last but not least, of course, Fish. We're going to broadcast all the sets in their entirety. We did the same thing yesterday, as well as the sound check. And I think I should take this opportunity, once again, as I have with each of my shows this year, to thank the band. The four guys who made it all possible brought us all together here and, and so many other times, so many other places, and, uh, and, and provided so much inspiration. It's been, I'm trying to think of a non cliched way to explain that it's been a, been a long and amazing, always strange, but a beautiful trip with Fish. And it continues tonight. They climbed on the rocks last night. What's next? Anyway, this is Kevin. This is from the archives. My sixth and last scheduled installment of this program. I'm joined by uh, friends, young and old. <laughs> the younger ones are cuter, really. They just always are. All right, I'm going to divert from the regularly scheduled programming now. Mine, at least. To, uh, to feature something that's been asked for by so many, I mean, really, and rightfully so. It's a piece we have talked about using in the past. And, um, hopefully someday the, the band will, will put out. I'm, I'm confident that'll happen someday. And in the meantime, I'm going to bring it here for you to enjoy a 921 The Bunny. We're WMOO, Derby Center, W257AU, St. Johnsbury, once again, simulcast on XM Radio. This is Kevin. And uh, it's really, it's been an honor and a pleasure all these years. And, uh, well, looking forward to sharing the next few minutes with you and, and then this, this amazing experience tonight. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Bridges in Birmingham 
forget to mention, forget to mention Memphis, and home of Elvis and the ancient Greeks. Do I smell? I smell home cooking. It's only the river. It's only the river. I'm checking them out. I'm checking them out.
And there you have it. David Bowie in the cities into a triumphant return to David Bowie from July 30th, 1997, Ventura, California. So, so good. Really my pleasure to bring you that and, um, and all the rest of the music. I'm from the archives. This is Kevin doing it for you one last time at Coventry where things are shaping along quite nicely, actually, at the Bunny. I can feel the vibe coming. I'm looking behind me. I got the voice of Dionysian and a few others, key others. We'll get to them one at a time, I think. I'm going to use this moment to give a few shouts out and make a couple announcements. I'm told there's a key traffic announcement, but I don't know what it is, so um, <laughs> when I'm giving it, I'll give it to you. In the meantime, I want, to, I want to thank in general, and I'm sure I'll forget some people, so generals may be more important, really all the staff here at Coventry. They've been looking out for you the whole time, us, that is. We have been looking out for us, and that's how it's best done. Everybody has to look out for each other. Stick together, keep a map, have a traffic alert now. If you parked your car off-site and walked to the festival grounds, by the way, that was amazing. I'm not sure it was sanctioned, but it was amazing. The walking part, that is. Anyway, if you did that and you parked your car in a location and it doesn't obstruct traffic, basically if you're not in front of a driveway or something like that, um, you weren't towed. Do not attempt to bring your car on site today. I'm told not to paraphrase. Now I'm going to read. As all points of entry to the concert site are closed, leave your car where it is. For your own safety... We also strongly implore you to remain on site until Monday morning before walking back to your car. The roads are poorly lit at best, and there will be considerable car traffic on the roads throughout the night after the concert ends. We ask those of you leaving by car to drive slowly and cautiously as you leave the site and be on the lookout for pedestrians. As always, please make sure to stay hydrated and don't drive unless you're sober and well-rested. We're going to be reading that often, so you'll get used to hearing it, but it's important information. So note that. I'm going to break it down now. If you're not blocking a driveway and you didn't somehow jam up any of the local landowners who have been so kind to host us, you should chill out here until at least Monday, until you're properly rested and hydrated, because you don't have to worry about your car being towed, unless you block somebody in. In which case, and I'm told that's very few people, by the way. And if that's you, you don't want to think about that now. You want to think about Coventry, Fish's last concert, August 15th, 2004. I had to pause. That was a pregnant pause. Anyway, back to some thanks for the staff. I want to first and foremost thank, from the Bunny perspective, Jason Colton, really the radio station that the festivals was his vision, and, and he's done a great job bringing it through, and the places have really gotten nicer and nicer and they've always been they've always felt like home but this is it this is the pinnacle the pinnacle bunny setup this is it this is nation cowbell anyway kevin coming to you from the archives i've got some more tracks a couple of guests but back to the staff great northeast all of great northeast staff has been great they've been working their butts off for really a long time here um months 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 preceding like on-site months and months and months before that and really a lot of planning goes into this i'm sure you can appreciate but it's fair to say that um it's hard it's basically hard to conceive of how much work goes into this and it's the teamwork is is inspiring it, it parallels the music and i've heard trey say it and and the other band members and, and it's true it's it's beautiful to watch this stuff come together and we were literally in fields really wet fields by the way earlier in the week and they're still pretty pretty wet but uh this staff has been great so particularly margie and christy and admin i have to give a special shout out to tony in the motor pool for taking such good care of me and my wife and everybody else um keeping us moving from one place to another and also a shout out to jamie and jennifer at check-in and really everybody over at check-in p25 has been running a hell of a show over there i'm part i'm sorry a heck of a show Anyway, um, along with help from, from a great crew. So that whole gang has been amazing. And I also want to thank particularly John Paluska 
our fearless leader, who really has been, you know, just the force behind behind so much of what you of what you recognize to be the fish festivals and, and the whole fish experience. Um, all of Dionysian Productions, my particular close uh, immediate staff of Rob and Monty and Ben been working, help me work around the clock to try to pull the best tracks for this and along with doing so much other stuff I mean all of them have been helping to bring the festival together in, in so many ways throughout it and before it and uh, we'll be working a long time to put it away actually after it because it's being well documented I'm sure you noticed out there we'll see what comes of that anyway I want to make sure to do our top of the hour announcements. This is 92.1 WMOO FM Derby Center, W257AU, St. Johnsbury. We're simulcast on XM Satellite Radio. So a big shout out to everybody who's listening in places that are not Vermont in the immediate vicinity. Um, I, want, I think it's also worthy at this point to thank the state police who really have been very patient and taking care of everybody out there as well. Um, it's been a pleasure, actually, uh, working with them, Sergeant Melendi particularly, who spoke to you a number of times and, and really, like everybody else, worked around the clock. You can tell I'm a little choked up here. It's, um, it's a heavy day. It's a, it's a great day. And uh, you know, the day of the last show. Jeez. What to say? I'll let the band do the talking, because we know that's really what it's all about. So I want to send this one out to Beth, um, who deserves special thanks in her own right. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to let the band say it. Have a great time out there. Drive safe as you're coming in. Uh, don't worry about your cars, and please make sure to rest after the show. Don't rush out of here. There's no reason. The roads aren't well lit at all and and things will be probably a little cloudy and and maybe a little uh probably a lot heavy after the show so have a great time out there i'll visit you briefly before taking off handing the reins over to pascal and uh getting ready for for set one of of the second day of coventry enjoy Uh, what I meant by that was enjoy. <laughs>
Nothing I see can be taken from me.
Wow. That was Bug from It last year at this bat time and this bat channel approximately and how about it this is it just when we thought it was it this this is it and here we are all together all of you across the country listening in on XM all of us here backstage at Coventry all of you out there front stage at Coventry where we're all looking forward to being real soon and all of you out there listening um, around the area the Vermont and the New England area on um, WMOO WMOO and our St. Johnsbury repeater um, this is Kevin this is from the archives my sixth and final chance to be honored with your presence to entertain hopefully inform and and, and self-indulge actually a little. So thank you very much. It's been truly amazing and that part of it, all of it. And I've said this a few times, I'll say it one more time. I want to thank the, the band, the whole crew and the band. And I don't know, people probably don't know. The crew came in, they had a, the same easy time coming in as you all did. And, um, and they had to really scramble to pull it together and, and get everything up and running on time to the point where we, we delayed the broadcast of the sound check here on the bunny and and uh, and the band, you know, had to had to basically well, we had to wing it. Let's say the conditions at Coventry were perfectly imperfect. And that's part of the fun. That's the irony. That's what keeps it all interesting. The new, the unknown, taking it further. That's what it's all about. It's all about fish and Coventry here at the Bunny. Powered by iTunes, except for from the archives. We roll from CD. But that's because we're a throwback. It's an archival thing. We know you understand. So I played the bug for my good friend, Beth Rolls, who's been an amazing colleague all these years. It's been eight or nine years for me, I guess, with fish and... 20 and then some for the band and um, for a lot of the management almost that long and I know for a lot of you that long uh, listening out on satellite radio and on radio and out there uh, in the lots and fields of, of Coventry um, it's been amazing guys I have to say all four of you all of you, the crew Sanzio particularly but everybody, Carini the whole gang, you know the cast. I won't, I won't bore you. You can read the credits. You can read the credits on the DVD. <laughs> and speaking of DVDs, we have the It DVD about to reach stores. Hopefully people got a chance to enjoy that on PBS. It's still actually shown on some of the PBS stations. It's an amazing, amazing document of an amazing event. The event we thought was it. Almost it. The DVD. Anyway, amazing. It really is. And that, by the way, that bug was mixed for us by Elliot Shiner who did the mix for the for the DVD and he did just an amazing job um, really I, you know I'm sure it came through there on the waves so I'm going to get picked up after by uh, Pascal and DJ Gary Turismo who've been just rocking it here I know you'll agree these guys have a they have a flow and a, and a, and a style a stee they bust in a stee that uh, I could only dream of so for me, it's uh, all NPR all the time. Shabsio Free Radio. This goes out to the Cowbell Nation. <sighs> so thanks to you all. Thank you, Fish. And, uh, and have a great show.
as sweet as could be It only took a couple of days till she was rid of me She swore that she would be all mine and love me to the end But when I whispered in her ear, I lost another friend
15 minutes indeed. Once again, it's been a great pleasure. It's Kevin coming to you from backstage. We're getting pumped. I know it sounds maybe, maybe a little heavy here. It's a heavy day, but it's heavy in a way that is worthy of a strong celebration. I mean, when has there been a band like this? I mean, the, the one of you who knows when there's been a band like this, I just you can go ahead and just email me and tell me, and I'm ready to follow that. <laughs> God willing, someday. Anyway, it's been a great pleasure. I'm back here with DJ Gary Trismo. We're going to get picked up here in a minute by Pascal. These guys are going to allow me to say a few more thank yous and tell you what I just played because I forgot to. I mentioned the bug was from It, remixed by Elliot. So powerful. And um, I went out with sort of the way I started on Friday with the first of, of three parts of from the archives. And that is with the ending of the set with the good times, bad times into Tweezer Reprise from Lincoln, October 21st, 1995. And I mean, I puzzled long and hard. You might imagine that I puzzled long and hard with how to end that. And it just seemed like since the beginning had been technically an ending and then this ending was the same as the beginning that I just thought, I felt that this as well as anything um, 